Tell me, babe, you wanna leave this town? I'm saying, love her if you wanna go on down. Cause darling, we were made for bigger things. Hello everyone and welcome back, Dom here and on today's video I'm going to show you how you can create vocal harmonies inside Cubase from one single vocal with literally one click. Intro. So let's get started guys, but before we do, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, hit that button down there. It really helps me create more videos like these for you. Now, let's get into it. I have a vocal right here. Let's play it. Tell me, babe, you wanna leave this town? I'm saying, love it if you wanna go, I'm down. So right now we have no chords, we have nothing. But I'm going to show you how you can create harmony voices out of this single vocal very, very easily. So let's see, I have this nice pad right here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do one of the most important steps if you want to create harmony voices inside Cubase's literally with one click. What you need to do is you need to go to plus here and add a chord track, okay? That's very, very important. Now we have our chord track right here. What I will do is I'm going to mute it because I want to be able to play and record the chords inside the chord track, okay? So I'm going to go to my nice pad right here. And I'm going to record those chords into the chord track, okay? So I'm going to record enable it. Tell me, babe, you wanna leave this town? I'm saying, love it if you wanna go on down. It's done that we were made for big things. And this place keeps killing our dreams. Okay, so now, not only I recorded my lovely pad that, by the way, comes from Retrolog 2. Love it. Uh, but I also recorded the chords inside my chord track. This doesn't mean that you have to do it, you have to play it on a keyboard. You can also add your chords like this. You know, just grab your pencil tool and add chords like that. If you are not a piano player, don't worry about it. But if and if you're not, you can find a MIDI keyboard and just play the chords one by one, you know? Now, let's say that um, I want to go ahead and create those harmony voices, right? So what I'm gonna do now is, the first thing, I want to clean those up in terms of timing a little bit. So I'm going to hit Q to quantize, because we're going to generate those chords, I want them to hit exactly on the beat. So now let's get to that one click that I was talking about. Select the audio, your vocal, and then go to audio, and then you just need to click on generate harmony voices. And here are just a couple of things that you can check, right? How many voices do you want? You have up to four, right? One, two, three, four. But I'm gonna show you later on how you can add more to this. The next thing that you want to check is your reduced vibrato strength. Why is that? Now, here's the thing. A normal human being, a singer, will have a vibrato. Now, if you ask that singer to sing the same part twice, it's extremely unlikely that they will hit the exact same vibrato curve, okay? So, if you set this to zero, okay, that means that the vibrato is going to be retained exactly like it was on the original take. We don't want that. Why? Because it will sound unnatural. It will sound like all the voices have exactly the same vibrato. This is not what we want. So, so I tend to add a little bit of this, maybe around 70%, something like this, okay? And then you can choose if you want to open the sample editor after the whole process is completed. So let's hit okay, and boom! There we have our four harmony voices. And check something that's a little bit of a detail, but I really, really appreciate it. The voices are called soprano, alto, tenor, and bass. 
Now, if you read the basics about, you know, harmony and, uh, you know, Bach chorales and all these things, you will know that these were the four voices where everything began, right? Soprano, alto, tenor, and bass. And that's what I love about Cubase. It speaks to me in a very musical way. So thank you, Cubase, for speaking to us in a musical way, speaking to us like we're musicians, and you don't name these voice one, voice two, voice three, voice four. That would make no sense. Soprano, alto, tenor, and bass, I understand exactly what it is. I know that this is going to be my low voice, this is going to be my tenor, you know, alto, the female voice, the lower female voice, and the high female voice, soprano. So, now, here's the thing. Cubase makes this incredibly, incredibly simple. But I'm going to tell you something. Let's play it first. Tell me, babe, you wanna leave this town I'm saying, love it if you wanna go on down Now, Cubase has done all the hard work for us. But here's where the human element comes in and here's what you can do to make this even better. Because right now, it sounds a little bit synthetic, okay? But that's not because Cubase didn't do the job right. I'm going to show you how to make this sound more natural, okay? Now, the first thing that I would do would be, number one, to go into my mixer and pan those voices left and right. Okay, why? Number one, because they're all in the center right now, so this will sound congested. Even if you had like real vocal harmonies, they would sound a little bit weird if they were all in the center. These are supposed to be background vocals, so we need to spread them to give them a little bit of space, a little bit of air to breathe. The second thing that I would do is I would take all of them, Alt Shift, and pull them down a little bit because they're too loud right now. Now, let's listen to this now, and let's see if we improve things a little bit. Tell me, babe, you wanna leave this town? Okay, much, much, much better. Now, there's another thing that will improve this even, even more. And this is a little tip I wanna give you, and I want you guys to get perfect results out of, you know, the harmony generated in Cubase. It's such a simple trick, but it will make a difference. So let's go to Soprano, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the inspector, and I'm going to go here. See, there's this track delay in milliseconds. And I'm going to say, okay, the Soprano, I want to delay it for around 25 milliseconds. Alto around, let's say 35. Okay. Let's go for tenor and delay it around 20 milliseconds. Actually, let's go a bit further with the tenor, let's say 45. And bass, let's say 21 milliseconds. You know, random values, you know. Don't go too far because it will start sounding like a delay. Now, why do we do this? Because the thing that sounds still a little bit unnatural right now is that all the consonants are exactly in the same place for all vocal takes. And even the best singers, they cannot do this, you know? It's very, very hard to do. And people spend hours and hours in editing to make the vocals sound tight. But because these were all generated through one vocal, we don't want this. Why? Because all the consonants are going to be in the same place and because they're tuned up and down, we're going to get these phasing artifacts. So if we spread them, in time, then we will get a way more natural result. Let's listen to this now. Tell me, babe, you wanna leave this town? I'm saying, love it if you wanna go on down. Much, much better, right? It's, it's a massive difference. And I think that this is one of the things that even if people know the trick about generate harmony voices in Cubase, they miss that. That's one of the things that you have to do manually, but it takes like literally just a few seconds and it makes a world of a difference, massive difference. So now if you want to click away from this video, you're free to do so, but now I'm going to show you some really, really cool stuff when it comes to changing those harmonies, making them your own very, very easily with just a few clicks. Let me show you. First of all, the very cool thing that these harmonies have right now is they're not like 
static harmonies that were generated and we cannot do anything about them. They're actually dynamically linked to the core track still. Okay, so for example, let's say that I'm not happy with one of my chords. Let's go here. This place keeps killing our dreams. Okay, let's mute the pad for a second and let's say that I'm not very happy with this A major chord here. This keeps killing our I'm not very happy with it. Let's go here, double click on it, and let's make it an E major instead. And now. This place keeps killing our dreams. How cool is that? The harmonies follow the chord track. And I don't have to lift a finger. Let me show you. If I open these in the sample editor, right? Let's change these chords right now, okay? Let's go for A. Boom. Let's go for E. Boom. Let's go for E with the major seventh. Boom. Done. Right? Let's keep it on E for now. How cool is that? If I make a video about the things that I love about Cubase, this will definitely be in my list. So, okay, we have this. This is great. We can change the chords. If you guys know of any other DAW that can do that, let me know. I think Cubase is the only DAW that can do this so fast, okay? And in no way I'm suggesting that this will substitute real vocal harmonies. Every single time I'm working with a singer, I'm always asking for real vocal harmonies. I'm always asking that they sing them because they're always going to sound much better with more feeling. I don't need to say that, right? Some singers, not all of them, some of them are a little bit lazy. They know that you can do this, so they tell you, mm, you know, you can do this later on, right? I'm just gonna sing the lead. But that's fine. But this is also a very contemporary vocal sound that you can hear on countless pop productions right now. On the radio, it's, it's everywhere, this sound. So even if it's not like 100% natural, it's a very contemporary sound. So it's always good to have the tools to achieve it, right? So now let's do something that's even cooler. Let's say that we have these harmonies here. Tell me, babe, you wanna leave this time. And we like them, but maybe we're not very happy with the voicing. Maybe this, this is very low, you know, I mean, I understand this is a bass, but, uh, you know, the singer here is a tenor, and he sings at a higher register as well, so this is a little bit too far-fetched for this. What can we do? Check it out. Now, all you need to do, I'm not gonna play anything, I'm just gonna show you what you can do with the chord track. You go to your chord track, okay? And then you can see that you have the voicings here. So we have voicings, we have quite a few options right here, and maybe I'm gonna do a video explaining all these things at some point, but at this stage, what I want you to check is that you can say, I want to have voicings for piano, basic, check, they change straight away. Or guitar, they also changed, okay? That's very cool. I'm gonna keep it for piano right now. Now, this, this cogwheel is the magic button. I don't know how many people know about this. If you know about this feature, let me know in the comments down below. I'm gonna show you though, okay? Now, what this allows you to do is it allows you to change the voicing of your chords. And of course, it goes for the vocals as well. So let's say I want to duplicate the root, okay? Boom. Now I've duplicated the root. I'm going to get a different sound. Tell me, babe, you wanna leave this town. See? A little bit more minimal this, this time. Uh, let's go and change this and fatten it up. I'm saying, love it if you wanna go on down. What this does is it duplicates the tenor one octave higher. Tell me, babe, you wanna leave this. So immediately we're changing the character of our harmonies. Now check what else you can do that's completely gonna change how your harmony sound. You can change your voicing range. So the lowest root note, the lowest note, and the highest note. So let's say I'm going to change the lowest root note. So see, before we had the bass right there, the bass voice, and now we can just move it up because it doesn't allow it to go that low, which sometimes might be something that you want. Let's listen to this now. Tell me, babe, you wanna leave this town? And why don't we try and change this in real time? This is gonna be fun. 
I'm saying, love it if you wanna go, I'm down Cause darling, we were made for bigger things And this place keeps killing our dreams See how many different sounds I can get. The voicing in vocal harmonies is extremely, extremely important. So with these options, I can change all those different things. So let's play it from the beginning, from the top, and let's see what we can do. Tell me, babe, you wanna leave this town? I'm saying, love it if you wanna go, I'm down. Let's change. Okay, so I mean, you can have loads of fun with this, uh, you can get so many different options, but the last thing I want to show you is that you can add more voices, even more voices, right? So the function generate harmony voices gives you four to choose from, but that doesn't mean that you only need to use four. Check what you can do, you can go to alto, and let's say I want to duplicate this, or maybe I want to duplicate the soprano. So for me, the shortcut for duplicate is Shift and J, done. And let's go and duplicate the tenor as well. Shift and J. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pan them on the opposite side of their brothers and sisters. So let's go like that. Great. Now, these two that we just created, they have exactly the same voicing like the normal soprano and the tenor that we had initially. But what you can do is you can go to these specific channels and go to your chords and assign a different role to them. For example, I'm going to say soprano 2 for soprano and for the second tenor that we created, tenor 2. Okay. Now, we have these guys right here. If I open them, you will see that I still have the same voicings. But now I can go back to my chord track, go back to this amazing cogwheel, and now I can start changing those options. So now instead of four voicings, I have five or six voicings depending on the chord. Right here you can see one, two, three, four, five, six. So now I can add more voices and depending on the settings that I have here, I can change again all the voicings. Now, as a last thing, what I'm gonna do, uh, let's give them some polish. I'm going to select all of them, create a bus, Alt Shift G in my case, let's call it BV, back in vocals. And now on this bus, I'm going to add a reverb, a revelation, and let's listen to what we have. Tell me, babe, you wanna leave this town? I'm saying, love it if you wanna go, I'm down. All right, let's bring in the pad. Tell me, babe, you wanna leave this town? I'm saying, love it if you wanna go on down. So there you go, that's how you can create vocal harmonies in Cubase very, very easily. But the most important thing is you can make them your own. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope you found it useful. If you did, hit that like button down there. Yes, it really, really helps. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and share it with any Cubase user you might know that might like it. Until next time, I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.